What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and you guys have been asking for more side mount videos so that's exactly what this is going to be. Now in the past I've showed you all my personal gear, my personal BCs, personal regs, masks, wetsuits, dry suits, fins, all that and I told you I'd make you a video on my personal side mount system so that's exactly what this video is going to be about. Now before I get started and show you the equipment that I use, I want to talk a little bit about diving side mount for me personally and why I choose to do it versus diving doubles. Now guys, I've been diving for 29 years. There's not a system out there that I'm not dove. Um, and I believe that there's a practicality behind every system. You know, whatever you use it for, if you can find a reason to use that system and you're comfortable using that system, by all means, use it. I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong. But what I tend to do is I look at more practical purposes for certain systems, and that's how I dive. So do I ever dive doubles? Sure, if I have to. I don't really dive it for the redundancy standpoint because I have other ways for redundant, but if I'm in a double situation, most of the time for me it's because I need that extra air. So if I need extra air, I don't like it on my back. It's, it's very, very heavy. It kills my back, and when you dive as much as I do, you got to really take good care of your body. So I go with double side mount or double tank side mount, if you will. So I'm going to break down my equipment, show you exactly what I use, talk about the two different types of side mount equipment that I use, and give you a little bit of background there. So starting with the BC, currently I'm using Subgravity's Diamond 2.0 side mount BC, and I really like some of the features of this. Now I will tell you in the past I've used OMS's, I've used the Razor system. Uh, as soon as Marias releases their uh, North American version of their side mount system, of course, I'm going to be switching. As most of you guys know, I am very loyal to Marez. I'm a platinum dealer for them, so I'm, I'm going to go with Marez. But currently, I am using the side mount system from Subgravity, their Diamond 2.0 system. Uh, I really like it. I like the bungee uh, system that they got on here. Um, plenty of places. I've got my Orca Torch D620 mounted currently on it. Um, the inflator hose. Now, in side mount, I like my inflator hose coming from the bottom. But I can, I have the adjustability to put it up here on top or left or right. However I want to set it up, I can set it up. It's got the T-weight pouch system here in the middle, so I really like that. And the trim weights, if I go from single to double or whatnot, I can put in trim weights as well on my shoulder strap. Completely adjustable system, so this is the BC I go with currently for side mount. Now briefly I will show you my single side mount regulator system because there's nothing too fancy about it. I am currently using a Marius 15X loop system. Now, it is a DIN regulator. I'm not going to get caught up. Do you need DIN? Do you need yoke? Because I'm going to tell you, I use both. I primarily use yoke for every single type of diving I do, except for side mount. Now, would I ever use yoke for side mount? Absolutely. I don't have a problem using yoke at all. And I'll talk briefly at the end of the video why I would use yoke over DIN. But currently, I'm using a, a DIN system from Marius. It's their 15X. Uh, first stage with their standard loop. Second stage, this is a brand new regulator. It came out uh, last year at DEMA. And the reason I really like this is because of hose routing. If this is on my left cylinder, I don't. I use the standard 36 inch hose, but instead of going around my neck and hanging on a necklace, I simply leave it bungee to the cylinder itself and pull it up and breathe on it like this. It's very simple. It's out of the way. I don't have any type of entanglements, nothing like that. Standard length inflator hose, which the way this mounts to my um, valve, basically it's going to wrap around the cylinder and come up and hook into the inflator so there's no entanglement there. Six inch gauge from XS Scuba, yeah it's got a rubber boot on it, no big whoop. All right, And then I use the Marias MV as a backup which stays bungee to the cylinder. Now it is a little bit cluttered because of the hoses itself. I've got two hoses coming off each side but when it's all said and done that's about the absolute much girth I have. I'm not using a single tank side mount system to go inside of a cave or a cavern or anything like that or any overhead environment, so I don't worry about the clutter itself. It's not really that bad when it's hooked up under my arm. But that's for single tank. Double tank side mount, I am currently using aluminum mateys. Now I've used steel, I've used aluminum. I prefer aluminum mateys for several reasons. One, my sack rate is so low, guys, I can get away using small aluminum cylinders. I don't need big, heavy, bulky steel tanks. Um, but I do like the fact that aluminum 80s are so practical because no matter where I go in the world, I'm going to find an aluminum 80 cylinder. All right. And if you'll notice, these have standard Pro-K DIN valves on them. And the Pro-K simply means they're DIN or yoke. I've got inserts. 
Um, these regulators are DIN, so that's what currently I've got the tank set up. But they are standard. They're not left and right handed like on a set of doubles. I didn't take my manifold off and plug them. I'm using standard valves. Another reason I do that, I own a dive shop, guys. When I travel, this is what's going to be available for me to use. So I've adapted my system to work for me depending on what I have to rent when I'm out traveling. So getting to the regulators themselves, these are the Marez XR25 XR DR, or their new deep regs it's from their XR line. On the left side cylinder, I'll show it to you first. I have the um, 25 XR, Marez XR first stage. I got the SVG 52 on a six inch hose. It's their uh, mild flex hose, if you will, or braided hose. Standard length inflator hose. Once again, it just simply goes to my inflator. I actually keep it bungeed down just like this and it goes straight in the inflator so there's no entanglement. If I need to, I can pull it out for extra length. And then for the second stage, I'm using the DR from the XR line on a bungee, 36 inch hose. Basically it goes around my neck and hangs via bungee right here, okay? So that's how I've got that one set up. The tank itself, the way I rig it, I have nothing at the top. There's no um, bolt snaps or anything. I simply use the bungee system of the BC to hold it up. Hold it in place. I got a standard cam strap. This is currently from XS Scuba. I got a tri glide with a little bungee and a bolt snap. Now, with my BCD that I use for side mount, that sub gravity one, I've got two D rings. So, as the tank starts to get light, I can unsnap here, move forward. I do put it on a bungee system because sometimes I use these tanks for stage bottles or just redundant air systems as well. So if I'm in my back plate wing, which I got a butt plate, and I need that extra length, it's got that bungee so I can get to the extra length. So that's my left cylinder. My right cylinder is set up currently for wetsuit diving because it's extremely hot. I'm probably sweating, as you can tell, it's hot here in North Carolina. When it gets colder and I switch to a dry suit, then of course I'll add an extra inflator hose. But currently this one only has two hoses. I got a six inch SPG 52 from Mario's XR. The same uh, Marez XR25 XR DR first stage, which is a den style. And then of course my primary is on a seven foot hose. So you long hose guys, you ought to be proud of me here. Basically it stays strapped to the cylinder. Once again, that hooks to a D-ring, bungee wraps around. This comes up and around and I can breathe off it. When I'm not breathing off it, standard bolt snap, clip off to a D-ring and I'm breathing off the one on my necklace. Now a lot of guys ask, and I've seen this a lot on scuba board, people say, well, how do you donate air? Well, I always donate what air I'm breathing. So if I'm on the long hose, I can extend out, give the long hose. If I'm on the short hose, I can donate it too. And people say, how do you do that with it wrapped around your neck on a bungee at the same time? Well, that's very easy to explain. It's not rocket scientists as a lot of people try to make diving. It's not. It's on a bungee that is very easy to break away. It's just the same bungee necklace that I use if I'm in a back mount. I've got my alternate hook up. I can simply pull it out undo it from my neck and hand it up. Does it get caught in the long hose? No, because I simply just pull it out, unwrap it around, and hand it off. So whichever my primary is, that's the one I always donate. But that's my current setup for double tank side mount, my single tank side mount, my side mount BC. Guys, you know me, I'm very, very practical. Now I told you at the end of this video, I talk about using yoke regulators instead of den regulators. The only time I use a DIN regulator, and I have nothing against DIN, but for pract practical purposes, the only time I use it is in a side mount situation or a double back mount situation. Any other type of diving I do, I use yoke. Now side mount really ain't no different. If I'm in that remote area where all they have is standard valves that are yoke and not DIN, I can pop these off, put a standard yoke regulator on it, or two if you will, and, and use the same hose routing. I'm not using this for deep cave exploration or deep, deep technical diving. I don't get caught up on den or yoke. Truth be told, the only reason I'm using den on these is because that's all I can get these regulators in. So I try to keep it practical. I want to stress to you, whatever you use, please practice with it, train with it. During your pre-dive safety checks with you and your buddy, go over your equipment with each other so you both understand how the system works in an emergency so that you can get your buddy in or out there gear. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you got any questions, simply put it down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to discuss my methodology of doing things or the craziness in my head with you. I don't mind discussing it with you. 
Guys, as always, check back each week for new videos. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.